back into my chakra videos I'm out at my spot I'm at the nature trail it's a little busy out here today they're driving around in the trucks a lot so I hope I don't have too many interruptions I don't get thrown off I'm gonna do the best that I can so um, as far as the chakras I did the third eye already I did the throat chakra and I'm pretty sure as I am going through my awakening I'll probably come up with more or figure out more things and end up making more or repeating some of these videos I'll probably make another third eye video or whatever but for now I'm moving forward I'm going now to talk about the heart chakra I'm not going in any specific order not from the root to the crown I'm just jumping around whatever hits me okay um, but before I get into the heart chakra, I want to share something. I want to talk about something very interesting in which um, I think is what guided me or what has been signs for me to talk about these chakra videos uh, or to make these chakra videos. So I've said before, I'm a massage therapist. I've been a massage therapist for over 10 years. Um, I went to school back in 2008. The school I went to was called the Acupuncture Massage College in Miami. Actually, it's in the Kendall area. Um, the only reason I went to this school is because of the location. I was kind of like in the downtown, overtown area of, of Miami. And I, I was bartending all the way like down, further down south, past South Miami um, as a bartender while I was in school for massage therapy. So it's the school was actually in that area like that's the only reason I went to that school but it was kind of a holistic school and I only went there just because I wanted to get my massage therapy license so they had acupuncture students there um, which is a lot more school that you're a doctor when you do acupuncture that's years and years of school massage therapy is only nine months so I went to the school and they taught us a massage called shiatsu, which was like the going down the meridians or pressure points of the body. And uh, they gave us brief brush ups on Reiki and just told us some information about this energy type of massage. Um, also about, um, ran through a brief information about the chakras. Didn't learn much about it, but like I said, I went for massage therapy. Once I became a massage therapist, Nobody even wanted a shiatsu massage. It was always people want you to beat them up. You want deep tissue or Swedish, and that's pretty much all I've done for years. It's not a lot of places that are really into these holistic and uh, massages, which didn't guide me to try to, uh, or uh, let's say, get uh, more information or get more studying or take courses on Reiki or, you know, to do more kind of energy work and. So it was just, I just did deep tissue in Swedish all my life, right? So fast forward, 2018, before we ended up moving to Kissimmee uh, from Miami, I had decided that I wanted to get a tattoo for my 41st birthday. And um, I didn't, I wanted to get something with colors. I, I, was, I was thinking about getting these African symbols that have these different meanings, unity and stuff like that, and red, black, and green. That's what I was thinking about getting. And at the last minute, the night before getting my tattoo, I was like, you know what? I'm not sure I want to get that. I want to get something with colors. What do I want? What do I want? I just decided, you know what? Maybe I should get the chakras. Looked up pictures on it. And I was like, okay, I'm going to get the chakras because they're different colors. Now, I didn't get a tattoo of the chakras because I truly knew how real they were. I just heard about them, believed in them. I was like, okay, um, I'm going to get the chakras randomly. And I got the tattoo on my back of the chakras. And then after we moved, 
and I started going through this awakening. I started experiencing all the number synchronicities and the um, emotional roller coasters and everything. I started trying to figure out what was going on with me, did research, and I found out that I was going through a Kundalini awakening. And then <laughs> looking into Kundalini, I find out that that's associated with the, the chakras that I got on my back, down the spine, and that just was like, what? Like, it was like, I, I didn't get the chakras because I knew how real they were. I got it because I just wanted colors. And it's just so funny how the universe and your higher self will have you do certain things just to kind of like, you know, a funny sense of humor, to kind of just like show you a sign later in life. And so that is one of the reasons that I really feel that I should do videos talking about the chakras or even study them more because I feel like I've been getting like information and, and signs about it for, for a long time and I even went as far as to get a tattoo when I didn't even really know much about them. So if that's not a sign, I don't know what else is. So moving on, I just wanted to share that. But the heart chakra, okay? Now the color for the heart chakra is green. The Sanskrit name for it is Anahata. It, um, it governs the heart associated with the thymus gland and the function of the heart is love. Now, the, the heart chakra is responsible for creating balance and love towards yourself and others. And when your heart chakra is imbalanced or blocked, you sometimes may experience uh, physical things like, uh, or physical symptoms, issues, like uh, respiratory problems, asthma, heart troubles, heart disease, um, poor circulation, high blood pressure. Uh, these type of things will happen when there's a blockage in the chakras or in the heart chakra. It, it manifests itself in those type of ways. Um, when you have imbalances or blockages in the heart chakra, you will find that you probably have less control over your emotions. Like your emotions get the best of you. Anger, sadness. You can't really control those emotions. That is uh, because of an imbalance or um, overactive or underactive heart chakra. Now, with an overactive heart chakra, you might put yourself last too much and put other people first too much. You're probably more concerned about what other people want and need and less concerned about yourself. That happens with an overactive heart chakra. Um, it gets to the point where you may create a, like a cycle of like, you know, just a, an unhealthy, a painful cycle of not being able to let go of people that are no good for you. That happens with an overactive heart chakra. When it's underactive, you may push people away too much and be too critical of yourself and others. Um, negative thinking, putting yourself down, putting other people down, uh, you know, speaking more negatively. It, it, that is an underactive heart chakra. Um, you may have trust issues. You may have commitment issues. You may... Um, hold grudges too much, and you may be unable to let go of past pain and hurts and, and things that have happened to you in your life. Now, if these are issues that you have, you don't have to feel bad about it. You don't have to be, uh, you know, like put yourself down about it. Because there are things that happen in our life that cause us to feel the, this way, and we can heal it. There are ways to heal and to balance your heart chakra. But before we get into that, let's talk about what happens when your heart chakra is opening. And this is interesting because sometimes when your heart chakra is opening, it'll make you think that you have issues. It'll make you think that you have heart problems and stuff like that because you will feel these strange symptoms. You may feel pressure in the chest or in your back, like in between your shoulder blade, like this pain or pinch in the, in the back, like it's pretty much going straight through. Um, you may feel a little bit like heartburn, but you know it's not heartburn. This happened to me, especially during the buzzing and vibrating during this kundalini awakening that would happen to me. 
Um, when at first, when I would feel the buzzing and vibrating, I would panic and be like, what is that? And then the buzzing would stop. And then it got to the point where I just accepted it and I would kind of relax into it when it would happen. And it would happen when I was in between awaking and asleep. And when that would happen, I remember one morning it happened a lot. And um, I was taking my kids to school uh, and dropping them off. And as I'm driving in the car, I, you know, it's kind of hard to go along with your day when you're experiencing stuff like this without like constantly like replaying it in your head and thinking about what was that. So I'm in the car and I'm just like, what was that buzzing? What is happening? What happens? What's, what's this buzzing and vibrating? I wonder what it means. Just trying to figure it out. Right at that moment that I was thinking that, I started feeling this pressure in my chest. And it was like, the feeling just made you kind of want to cave in like, oh, what is that? You know, just this pressure here. I feel like that was an answer. Like, like my higher self in the universe was telling me that was your heart clearing. Your, your, the, the blockages are being cleared in your heart chakra. And that's what that buzzing and vibrating is all about. You may go through the emotional roller coaster, the purging of the anger and the sadness and you know, the, 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 you know, the bliss, all of that different stuff. It's like your heart is, it's purging uh, all of these pains and issues and things that you've gone through in your life. And that is a part of the heart chakra opening. So these things you will feel and you'll not, sometimes you're not sure exactly what it is and that's what it is. Um, I remember really interesting, um, one day, I think it was last year when school uh, started back, my oldest daughter, her bus came too early, so I had to drop her off to school, I, and I was taking the other uh, kids to school. So I have all of them with me, and I'm going to take them into school, and I just had this moment where I just felt high. Now when I look back on it, I know what it was, but at the time, I just felt like, oh, I love them. I just love them. And as mothers, okay, you know I love my kids. We love our children. But they get on your damn nerves sometimes. So you don't feel like that on a regular basis. So I know that at that moment, that wasn't just random. I just felt this moment of, oh, I love them so much. It's just this feeling of love and blissful. You know, that I know that was due to my heart chakra opening. I remember that day I dropped my oldest off to school and we, I went in with her like, what time does the bus come? It came too early. The time for the bus was 5.55. And then um, I go to, uh, after leaving her school, later on I'm going to pick up the, the seven-year-old and I pull up the first car I see, 555 on the plate. And this is when I did, after this happened, that's when all of the buzzing and vibrating started happening, you know, a couple of times during the week. And it was almost like 555, five, five, as I've researched that, as a symbol of change, positive change, change coming, change happening. And that was my heart chakra opening. So I do remember that and experience that happening. So those are some of the things that you may uh, feel as your heart chakra is opening. And if you've checked yourself and you already know you don't have heart problems and things like that, and you know that that is due to the opening of your heart chakra, the purging of your heart chakra with the emotions, um, those are the things that you will experience when your heart chakra is opening. Now, as far as healing, um, there are many ways to heal and to balance the heart chakra. Uh, for example, me and my husband, we play these frequencies. We listen to these uh, healing frequencies at, at bedtime. You can find these on YouTube. They got 432 hertz, 528 hertz, which is the love frequency. We'll play these. Sometimes they have eight hour, ones for eight hour, 10 hour. We just let that play while we're sleeping. And on a subconscious level, you know your body is doing a lot of healing in your sleep. That's happening during sleep. Um, DNA repair, things like that are happening, especially when you're going through this awakening. Uh, these things are happening to you. Your body is healing, so that's a wonderful, a, a, be, a good time to play those frequencies while you're sleeping. Uh, it helps you heal while sleeping. Also, um, the crystals. There are so many that are, are good for opening and balancing the heart. You've got green citrine, tourmaline, uh, rose quartz. Sleep with them under your pillow. Wear them. Carry them with you. These crystals will help to open and balance your heart chakra. There are yoga poses. 
chest openers is what they call them. And this is something that I feel sometimes, sometimes I stretch and stretch my chest, my husband will stretch and I'll feel cracking right here in the chest. Um, there was a period of time before even moving and realizing I'm going through this awakening that I had this pain on my sternum and I would do research and look up what is this and I ran across something called costochondritis which is where you have like cracks in the sternum that and you know you will diagnose yourself with lot with lots of different things because like I said with your heart trying to heal and your heart chakra opening you will it will manifest itself with all kind of other issues that you may research and find and that is the problem with most of these issues that people have in life, cancers, a lots of lots of these different things in different areas of the body is due to these chakras being blocked, being imbalanced. And if you can work on healing and balancing your chakras, that will cure a lot of the problems that people have, a lot of the illnesses and, and, and issues that people deal with. Um, but like I was saying, the, the chest openers, the yoga poses, um, there's the bridge pose, the cobra pose. If you look these poses up, you can research and look for, for poses, yoga poses that open and balance certain chakras. And you'll run across some that will add, you can actually do. It, it, it takes a couple of minutes. It will take a lot of time out of your day, whether you do them before you go to work or before you go to bed. Look into finding certain yoga poses chest openers for the heart chakra and different poses for all you know for different chakras for other chakras to help heal open balance these different chakras um, aside from that just practicing giving compassion and love these are things that help to balance and open your heart chakra um, give more and not necessarily just money time love positive words compliment people smile at people say hello practicing this love that opens and balances your heart chakra the same thing as practicing compassion towards people when they piss you off and people make you mad instead of fussing and ranting and raving practice having compassion towards people a lot of these people have issues themselves and that's the reason why they do some of the things they do so Practice feeling for them and understanding that they have issues and that's why they're pissing you off rather than just getting mad. Practice having compassion towards people rather than being angry with them when they do things that upset you. Wear green, uh, wear those stones, uh, carry those stones, sleep with those stones. These things, these efforts will help to open and balance and heal your heart chakra. Um, it's great to watch these videos and to listen to what people say about the heart chakras. But follow your own guidance. You know a lot of this stuff yourself. Do your own research. Get some books. Research. Look on, uh, on, on Google and find different things that you can do to help balance and heal your heart chakra um, and the rest of your chakras. When you, and I see that as I have focused on balancing my chakras and living this spiritual life. This is what's going to uh, help you to have a positive and healthy life. It opens you up to so much. So if you can look into healing, look into uh, balancing your chakras, that is what creates uh, uh, the life that you wanna live. That's what creates a healthy life. So, I don't want to ramble because I can go on and on and on. I really just wanted to focus on uh, talking about healing and balancing and opening the heart chakra. Um, my next video, I think I'm going to move to the solar plexus. I'm going to continue doing my research and I think I'll do that next week. Um, but that's it for this video. I want to thank you for watching. Um, don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, peace and blessings.